everyone, we all love some bus processing, don't we? It's something that we have to do on pretty much every project, more often than not multiple times within a project or song. So today I have a new tool for that. This is the Softube bus processor. As hinted by the name, it features that usual bus compressor, but it also features a saturator and some tools to work with the stereo image. I will show you the features, and show you around the plugin, run some audio through it, do some tests, then I'll give you my scores. I'm gonna switch myself over to the small screen and grab some headphones. See you there. Alright, so here we are with the bus processor. So let's start with the center section, which is the bus compressor. So we have the usual threshold, makeup gain, attack, release. This can be synced to your DAW, so you can have musical values here or anything in between. This applies to all settings. You can click on the numbers or twist the knobs. Ratio, of course, uh, a knee setting from hard to soft and also a range for the gain reduction. On the top left here, we have a dry wet. Down below it, we have a stereo link function, which is quite handy. Can go from dual mono to stereo linked. We also have the usual low cut all the way up to 500 and we have this nice tone shift which can make the detector act more towards the bass or the treble. We also have an external sidechain option of course. On the right side we have the saturation section, the dry and wet, the amount and two nice features here which are the tone and the harmonics. Tone is a emphasis and the emphasis filter is kind of a EQ curve that is applied to, to the signal. Harmonics is kind of a second mode for, for the saturator. So we have plenty of options to choose from here. You can have both of these bypass or enable one or the other or both of them as I have here. We also have a tone shift. And just like the tone shift on the side chain, this one will get the saturation more towards the bass or the treble. And here we have a pre-comp button. By default, the saturation is placed after the compressor, but you can place it before the compressor with this button. Down here, we have the section engage buttons, so you can engage the compressor, the saturation, and the special section. So let's talk about it. We have an air frequency here that according to Softube, this is not a pure EQ curve. It's also an EQ curve, of course, for, for the uh, super high frequencies, but there is also some mid-side trickery going on here. We also have a mono to sides balance here, so you can enhance the sides or make the signal more mono. And lastly, we have the mono bass features, which will make everything below this setting mono. So I have it on 200-ish hertz here, and everything below 200 hertz will be mono. As with all software plugins, we have this handy left sidebar and the right sidebar. The GUI is fully resizable, by the way. So here we have incoming levels and an input stream, and here we have the outgoing levels also with an input stream and this hand, handy set button which can set the signal so the output is as loud as the input so very handy for those a b checks and lastly we have this bottom menu here with a high pass filter and a headroom parameter all right so let's run some audio everything is on the default position here i'll play you the dry loop and start tweaking around the compressor, then we'll move on to the other sections. So let's have a listen.
So yeah, great sounding. It's very easy to to get a good sound out of this. Very hard to make it sound bad actually. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna go from this compression sound and dial in some saturation. Yeah, very, very cool stuff. So let's play with the special section here. Very, very cool. Now let's have a listen to the left side 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 chain section here. Uh, all of this is going on with the stereo link engaged and no side, uh, no uh, high pass on the side chain. So let's engage those. Okay, so now for a quick CPU test, I, I have 20 instances of the bus processor going on here. I have a noise generator here just to make it a bit more realistic. So you can see the load here. I'm on a Mac Mini M1 running Ventura and Pro Tools 2023. And this is the AAX Apple Silicon version. So yeah quite a good performance i would say so let's check for latency it's pretty much zero latency only four samples here per instance so yeah 
it's quite light on the CPU. Let's head over to Plugin Doctor now to have a look. Okay, so I'm curious about the saturation here mostly. Let's start with the compressor. So we have a gentle uh, roll off here in the high frequencies. So yeah, makes it perhaps a bit darker. Let's disengage the compressor. Now let's engage the saturation. Let's put it midway here, saturation. So yeah, some roll off here too. Uh, mostly past 20 here, so all good there. So let's check out the tone. This is quite interesting, quite a pronounced curve. If we increase the saturation, we get more of that curve. So let's disengage this one. Have a look at the harmonics. Not much going on on this one. With the two combined, quite inter interesting. So let's check out the harmonics. Let's check out the tone mode and the harmonics mode. Much less noise on this one, but keep in mind that the noise floor here is down to minus 125, so it's super low. It goes down to 175 here, so yeah, quite interesting. Let's engage both. So there you have it. Let's twist the tone shift knob. I'm going to use the harmonics mode so we can see better here. Yeah, lots going on here. So let's disengage this and engage the compressor. So yeah, not much generated by the compressor, but yeah, that's why you have the saturation. Going back to the frequency analysis now, just to check the air feature here. So yeah, starts around 2K, then it builds up, especially after 10K. This is the anti-aliasing filter, of course. So let's push it all the way to the top. So yeah, it says 10 here, but you can see that we don't even get a 5 dB boost over here, around 20. So yeah, quite cool. All right, so this wraps the section up. Let's head over to the scores now. All right, so that was the soft tool bus processor. So on gear space reviews, we have four scoring criteria, which are sound quality, ease of use, features, and bang for buck. So let's start with sound quality. For me, this is a easy five out of five. I think it sounds really good. The compressor is really cool sounding. It's very hard to make it sound bad and very easy to make it sound good. I also love the saturation. It's really flexible and sounds excellent to my ears. For the stereo tools, I'm a bit underwhelmed, to be honest, but that's not enough to take out the perfect score. Five out of five, quite easy. And speaking of easy, let's go to ease of use, which is also an easy five out of five. You saw the plugin, it's not complicated, it's very straightforward, it's also pretty light on the CPU as we saw in the test, so there's no way I can take a point here. For features, it's a bit tricky to score, but I'm also giving it a 5 out of 5, not because of the number of features, but because they are the right features. Softube uh, is more concise when it comes to features, except for maybe the amp room plugin or the modular plugin, of course, but they're mostly about having the right features and not like a bunch of them. I wish we had the option to switch the gain reduction meter to a input and output VU meter, but anyway, that's a very minor thing. The soft tool plugins have that sidebars, which are really helpful, so you can monitor incoming and outgoing levels quite easily. So five out of five on features. Now comes the trickiest part, which is bang for buck. For me, this is a four out of five. And I'm saying that based on the regular price of 149. If it was 99 bucks, I would definitely give it a 5 out of 5. So there is a 
bunch of nice plugins out there for these particular applications, both in terms of bus processing and saturation. So it's hard to, to give it a perf perfect score given its price and given uh, how many alternatives out there. It has its own sound and its sound is quite unique, but I wouldn't say it's unique enough to the point that you could not recreate it with two or three plugins. But anyway, this is highly subjective. So maybe if you don't have a bus processor, a nice bus compressor, of course, maybe this is the one for you. So perhaps for, for you, it's a five out of five. But anyway, excellent plugin, amazing effort from Softube once again. I really like this one and I'm really looking forward to see what they have in store next for us. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you around next time. Bye-bye.